So we are back on the beta grid in the sandbox Astutula. Um, I already raised out three of the professional post stands here. Um, if I sit on one of them, uh, this is the usual startup, but we have a, actually have a custom button here. I already stuck poses in here, but if you have no extra poses here, it will tell you that it can take maximum 12 new of your own custom poses. Um, so I made one here for arm and neck movement. I just called this one arms. And then I have one here that has to do with waist movement. And then I have one here to do with chest movements. I could make one for legs and hips and so on as well. But uh, I don't really need it for the garment we're making now. This is an early version, by the way, <laughs> of the top. I made a little extra on the back. Um, so the way I do it is I just stick my extra poses in here and uh, I made a folder here in my inventory as well. So these are the poses I stuck in here. Uh, I need to upload the arms up still. So let's do that. Upload animation arms up. Uh, I could put a description here, but I already know that all those has priority six and they are looping. Uh, I could put in which bones are moved and stuff like that, but I'm just going to leave it like this. So upload and it pops up here and I can move it to my TMT post stand. I do need to put it in here as well. And it will probably, I have two backs, I don't know why. Let me delete one of them. Okay, so back, down, forward, up an elbow action and some neck stuff. So when I'm testing here now, I have all those that I used before as well. Actually, I think I used these ones like you saw before. And those are really good because they are covering a much larger range, um, but they can be a little bit hard to see exactly where stuff is poking through. So I like my own where I can just do a static pose. So this is the arms back and I can go in here and check uh, is anything poking through no it's looking okay I think on this one uh, and then they're just in alphabetic order so if you're watching how you are naming these uh, they should be making some sort of sense here so those are my arm action then there's an elbow thing um, and then the neck So there we go. And I stuck the others in here as well. So you, I have a chest thing here that's just rotating different directions. West, south, west, south, east, south. I could have done X and Y here. Uh, I'm not sure why I did this, but you can name it whatever you like. Here I have, um, let's see if I stand. Uh, this is the waist thing, so that's this one. So I have uh, I have this one and that one. Those are just pure rotation, see? Uh, and then the others are bending. And they are a little extreme. There might be some poking through here where I'm going to, to say, uh, okay, it is poking through in the extreme pose, but, but I'm fine with that. I think I saw one. I poked through, perhaps I didn't. Hmm. It's looking okay. Perhaps that was on the chest thing. That's the bone that sits up here that I'm animating on this one. Uh, and that does, I think I did, let's see, here I went for 60 degrees when I rotated and then 45 when I bent her. In the chest area, I stuck to 30 degrees, but still I get a little bit of poke through here. I'm not sure if this is human possible, so I might just ignore this and just check the forward and backwards and then ignore these sideways movement. See, here's a little bit I might fix. This one I would probably not do anything about because I'm not sure she will ever 
go into that pose in an AO or anything. So those are the poses used here. And now I know that the pose here is exactly the same as the one I have in Blender. So if I'm testing something here, I can I can check that the same action happens in Blender. And if it doesn't, then I know I need to move stuff around a bit. Um, so when I'm going to work on the weight painting, I will probably have a window uh, split. So I have uh, my beta grid over here with the post stance and then my um, blender over here with my weight painting so I can move back and forth and back and forth really easily and check the same poses here and there. Um, now our hour is almost up now so <laughs> once again I escape the weight painting during class. <laughs> um, I was debating with myself if I wanted to show you once again how I weight paint and I will because I do know that it, it might be helpful to some to see how I decide which bone to check and which bone to move uh, if I have a problem. So I will record it, um, but I thought it's just, uh, it's too much to go through in class. It's boring to watch and it takes a long time. Uh, so I'd rather show you something like the poses here for today and then I'm going to record the weight painting of the top and the jacket um, probably not later today because we have class in a few hours um, but uh, probably tomorrow and then I will um, upload it to YouTube and uh, you can go watch it whenever it suits you I'm not going to show it in class I'm just going to uh, leave it as that so you can watch and if you have questions of course you can ask in class that's oh, that's fine um i was planning on showing you some refitting today as well um but i think that is a topic that we can spend a whole class on so let's have a look at that in class eight for now let's uh, end it here <laughs>